Good morning there, we're back, and there is some action weather to come. Eastern side of the North Island, you've certainly had a lot of heavy rain and flooding. Uh, low pressure system there brewed up and caused some damage. And if we look forward to, uh, I believe about Friday, Saturday next week, we'll get into it in a second. Another low looks to form right there, pushing more rain into the east of the North Island. So that'll be something to watch. Let's go to thunderstorm possibilities. Here we are Saturday, this afternoon. High pressure system over New Zealand. That's cool. I like that. Uh, I'm going to be in Hamna today, this afternoon. And uh, my huge lack of fans, uh, please uh, do not rush for a signature, for I will not have a pen. A weak front there moves onto the western side of the North Island, and there is a very slim chance of a few rumbles of thunder there, sort of uh, north of uh, Taranaki through to Auckland Northland here. Only a slim risk this afternoon as that front moves through. Then we move to sort of like overnight Sunday into early Monday. There we go right there, very keen northerly airflow ahead of this front here. Some heavy rain for South Westland, so yes, overnight Sunday into uh, Monday morning, early Monday morning, some heavy rain for South Westland. A slim chance of some thunder. It's actually not that unstable, therefore it is quite, it's actually quite stable. So yeah, there could be some lightning there, but uh, the risks aren't that, that great. Uh, then we move forward to later on Monday, overnight into Tuesday. That front there is going to have reached the North Island. It's going to bring some rain with it. A slim chance of a rumble of two, a rumble or two in that front. I don't really think there will be too much with it. Uh, we have a very cold south to southwesterly airflow pushing into the south of the South Island up the east coast there. That brings showers. It will bring a drop in the freezing level. There should be some snow in the ranges. Generally speaking, sort of about 600, 700 metres. But progressively, as uh, this uh, system moves through, you know, the freezing level will drop. But as that freezing level drops, the precipitation will really back off. So while there may be a chance a snow flurry or two could get down to sort of like 400, 500 metres here in the south and here in the east, uh, sort of like overnight Tuesday into early, well, early Tuesday morning, uh, it won't be that much. It'll generally be higher up. Good for the ski fields, that's what we like. Now, this situation is uh, cool because there is a thunderstorm chance here. Can you see where it is? I can and uh, I'll tell you where it is. It's here along the west coast, just offshore, sort of uh, Hokitika up through to Westport. Okay, why is that? Because yes, there is a general cold south to southwesterly airflow over the country. But see that area of low pressure right there? It's actually bringing sort of like a, a wind coming back in this way and it's uh, creating a bit of a convergence there. Also, we've got very cold advancing upper air and in the lower levels here in the west, there's actually some, relatively speaking, warmish air. It's not that warm, but it is warm-ish-ish. So, so, that creates a little bit of instability. I don't see these chances terribly often, mainly in winter, and we're getting into winter now, so that makes sense. I have seen them periodically in the past. I would be sitting somewhere like around Greymouth through to Westport on the coast uh, overnight Monday into Tuesday because there could be storms that brew up offshore there. It's a type of thunderstorm I've always wanted to photograph because usually once that front there uh, sort of like moves through, the, the skies clear up. So any of these clouds here that brew up, uh, you know, there can be a lot of clear sky around them. So, you know, if lightning sort of flashes, you really get to see the storm in all its uh, glory, shall we say could be very interesting. New Zealand has, uh, like various parts of the country, have uh, storm setups that I see. I'd love to go chase. For example, central Otago in summer, uh, you can get storms brew up in the afternoon due to heat, and quite often uh, they can occur under big high pressure systems. It's just the heat and the humidity and they brew up. I mean, that's one type of thunderstorm. To be honest, they can happen about anywhere uh, in land parts of New Zealand. Uh, sometimes those storms, they brew up like, uh, like inland Southland and they push down from the north. They can be really cool. Uh, often Whakatane, you can get uh, thunderstorms. Canterbury, of course, that's where I am. We get uh, thunderstorms moving through on south to southwesterly changes, more so in summer. Anyway, I'm rambling on. It's the excitement of the weather. Let's move to. Uh, we're going to go yeah, a bit further ahead now. This is where our low pressure system forms. There she goes right there. So, uh, yeah, Friday next week, 10 p.m., bit of a vicious southerly airflow moving in, some heavy rain perhaps. 
Uh, it is quite a while away, so nothing locked in there just yet. Thank you, Philip Duncan. Locked in. That's what we like to say. Uh, then it develops even further on Saturday. There we go. It deepens even further. 975. See, on Friday it was uh, 993. So, yeah, 975 on Saturday now. But uh, hopefully it sticks just offshore and uh, a lot of the heaviest rain will stay offshore. But we'll see. We've got showers moving into the southern and eastern side of the South Island now. Also a bit of cold air there too. Uh, at this stage I don't expect any snow to very low levels. Could be just good for the ski fields once again. Okay, we'll catch you uh, next Saturday morning. Have a good one. Yeah.